In this video, you will be learning about the origins of all of these musicians' stage names. From legends to up-and-comers to bands to solo acts, from aliases and personas that are completely different from their real names, to people just using their real names, and so on. This is part two of a similar video I did last week with the first half of the alphabet of this random list that I made, so feel free to check that out after if you haven't seen it yet. But first, I want to thank today Today's sponsor, Game Time. Buying tickets to an event can be a total nightmare, right? In this day and age, it should be much smoother, and with Game Time, it is. No more worrying about the best deal or wondering about your view. Checking out events in my area, from concerts to hockey games, is a breeze with Game Time. They've got insane deals for Aqua, Model Actress, a personal favorite, and I love scoring last minute tickets in the under $50 section for indie shows or bigger events. Game Time is the only ticketing app that brings peace of mind. Transparent pricing, seat views, you know exactly what you're getting. Plus, they sell tickets right up to the start or even an hour after the event begins. Perfect for grabbing some steals around the holidays for friends or family without breaking the bank. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code ALPHOMEDIA for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code ALFOMEDIA for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price, guaranteed. I accidentally skipped Kid Cudi last time, so Scott Mescudi started out rapping as Lil Scott as an homage to Lil Wayne, but then he wanted something more personal, so he changed it to Kid Mesk which was never gonna work, so it became Kid Cudi instead. Melissa Vivian Jefferson grew up with the nickname Lissa, and when she started a female rap group at the age of 14, Lissa combined with the Jay-Z song Izzo to become Lizzo. This is another crazy, real, iconic name example to me, like Beyonce in the last video. Madonna's birth name was Madonna Louise Ciccone. Christopher Comstock, aka Marshmallow, is very secretive of his identity and hasn't given much of an explanation of why he chose the s'mores ingredient as his whole persona. I'm assuming it was inspired by Dead Mouse's whole shtick, and the mask is a very recognizable, marketable piece of branding. Marvin Pence Gay Jr. used his real first and last name, although he added an E to the end of his stage name. Sadly, he would be shot and killed at the age of 44 by the man that he shared a name with, his father, Marvin Gaye Sr. Lars Ulrich's friend, Ron Quintana, was making a zine and said that the name was either going to be Metal Mania or Metallica. Lars told him that he should go with the prior for the zine because he wanted to use the latter as a name for his band. The Queen of Pop used her real name and the King of Pop used his too, Michael Joseph Jackson. Destiny Hope Cyrus was a very happy baby, so her parents would call her Smiley, which eventually became Smiley Miley, and when she was a teenager, she legally changed her name to Miley Cyrus. Mumford & Sons came from frontman Marcus Mumford, taking his last last name and adding that suffix to give the sense that it was, quote, an antiquated family business. NWA's name, blank with attitude, is pretty self-explanatory for the statement that they were making to the world. The guys were committed to being bold, unfiltered, and portraying a sense of rebellion within their music. They were unabashedly authentic and anti-commercial, which is just a small part of what made them so influential. Folk legend Neil Young was born Neil Young, but we've got a fun middle name here, folks. Drum roll, please. Percival. When Kurt Cobain and Chris Novoselic met in high school, they started out with some interesting band names. Kurt's original project was called Fecal Matter, then the two became The Sellouts, which was a CCR tribute band, and they continued on with names like Skid Row, 
Pen Cap Chu and Ted Ed Fred, but eventually they got sick of coming up with these on the nose obnoxious punk rock names and decided on something beautiful Nirvana, the final goal of Buddhism. The legendary Christopher Wallace went by more than a few nicknames. Big was one that he had from childhood simply because he was always physically large. Biggie Smalls became a spin off of that, which was the name of a gang leader in the 1975 movie Let's Do It Again, and finally, once he broke into the industry, he wanted something more official, so he became the Notorious B.I.G., which stood for Business Instead of Game. The Gallagher brothers got their band name from a tour poster that Noel had hung up in their bedroom. In Spiral Carpets had played a show at the Oasis Leisure Center in Swindon, and the rest was history. Andre 3000 and Big Boy wanted to call their group Two Shades Deep or The Misfits, they learned that both names were already taken, so they looked up Misfit in the dictionary and picked Outcast, which meant the same thing. Brendan Urie and Panic at the Disco got their name from the underground emo band Name Taken and their song Panic. There's a line in there that says, Panic at the Disco sat back and took it so slow. Sir Paul McCartney decided not to go with that weird first name and, no, no I'm, I'm just kidding. That was, that was a little joke for you guys. What would be the American version of the whole Sir and Dame thing, by the way? But yeah, uh, his name was actually James Paul McCartney. There was once a band named after NBA player Mookie Blaylock, but once they signed a record deal, they thought, hey, we should probably get a name that isn't just an athlete that we like. So one of the guys suggested Pearl. The band had gone to a Neil Young show and kept talking about how every song was a jam. And that's it, Pearl Jam. Originally, Eddie Vedder would tell reporters that it was an ode to his grandma Pearl and the jam that she would make, but that was just nonsense. Phoebe Bridgers is Phoebe Lucille Bridgers. Pink Floyd was named on the spot by Sid Barrett in reference to some of his favorite blues musicians, Pink Anderson and Floyd Council, joining the ranks of Beyonce and Madonna for names that were bound to make you a superstar. The artist formerly known as that love symbol was born Prince Rogers Nelson. Freddie Mercury chose the band name Queen because he wanted something regal larger than life, and quote, it sounds splendid. Radiohead got their name from a Talking Heads song of the same name, though it had a space in the middle. Fun fact, the origin of Talking Heads naming that song originally goes back to a character in Groundhog Day. Arguably the most common backstory across these two videos is dropping your last name and just using your first and middle instead. Here, that's the case for Ray Charles Robinson. Anthony Kiedis and Red Hot Chili Peppers got their title from a nickname of the 1920s jazz quintet, Louis Armstrong with his Hot Five. There were a bunch of old bands that did this hot, red hot, fire motif, so they doubled down on that concept. Again, with the middle name Supremacy, Robin Rihanna Fenty might be the new leader in this field. While Santana is a band and not just a guy, it is named after their frontman, guitar extraordinaire Carlos Santana. Selena Gomez was born Selena Marie Gomez, but it's no big surprise who she's named after, the late great Selena. Two more in a row of real names with little or uninteresting back stories, shout out to Sean Peter Raul Mendez and Sia Kate Isabel Furler. While Sonny John Moore claims that Skrillex is just a dumb old AOL screen name that doesn't have any meaning, some fans have assumed that it came from the first person shooter UT99 and the character Skrillex. Now for two people named Stevie that were actually named variations of it instead, Stephanie Lynn Nix shortened her name to Stevie Nix, and Steve Lind Hardaway Morris, yes, Steve Lind, got his name from the fact that he was a piano prodigy, and Motown called him Little Stevie Wonder. Tame Impala, unlike Santana, is just one guy. Kevin Parker got the band's name from the animal, and then the adjective is there as some kind of play on nature versus civilization. This is the part of the video when I learned that his parents are from Zimbabwe and South Africa, and his dad was the CFO of a gold mine. 
Interesting. Taylor Swift was born Taylor Allison Swift, and thank you very much, Taylor, for letting me use you in the thumbnail to get more views. My fun fact for her is that she was named after James Taylor, and also her dad has the Knights of the Round Table sounding name of Scott Kingsley Swift. While there seems to be several explanations for this one, this is what seems to be the number one contender. In the 1953 Marlon Brando crime movie The Wild One, there's a gang called the Beatles, like the insect. Stu Sutcliffe, the original bassist for the group, suggested that as their name, but John Lennon was the one that came up with the beat spelling pun because they were a beat band. Alex and Drew, the Chainsmokers, haven't said much about the origin of their name besides the fact that Alex used to smoke weed and they also took inspiration from Hugh Grant's character in 2002's About a Boy. Lol Tullhurst co-founded Easy Cure, a band named after a song that he had written of the same name. When there was a replacement of members early on, Robert Smith wanted a name change as well. He thought Easy Cure sounded too American, and he wanted to add the to the front of it, but the Easy Cure was too wordy, so... The Cure. The Rolling Stones were named after a Muddy Water song called A Rolling Stone, which ultimately comes from the old proverb, A Rolling Stone Gathers No Moss. Abel Tesfaye chose his stage name thinking about when he dropped out of school and, quote, left one weekend and never came home. The change in spelling was to avoid copyright problems with a band called The Weeknd. Tom Petty was born Thomas Petty, but there's not a whole lot of backstory on why the band was called The Heartbreakers. People generally talk about this group of guys to be extremely normal and level-headed, and The Heartbreakers does sound like a plain person's idea of a cool band name. Jacques Berman Webster II wanted his rap name to be representative of his two heroes, his uncle Travis and Scott Meskety, who we discussed at the beginning of the video. 21 Pilots got their name from the 1947 Arthur Miller play All My Sons. In the story, the protagonist has to choose between losing money by not selling faulty plane parts or sell the parts to help his family and hope for the best. He sells the parts, and guess how many pilots die because of that decision. U2 got their name after they asked a friend to come up with a list of potential band names. Bono and the rest of the guys hated this name the least and chose it because it sounded futuristic to them. Ezra Koenig named his band while at Columbia University. He was making a short film about vampires attacking the United States, called it Vampire Weekend, and while they stopped working on the movie, he kept working on music. Two great real names in a row, Whitney Elizabeth Houston and Willie Hugh Nelson, both used their given first and last names. Cameron Jabril Thomas, however, did not. He shortened wisdom to become whiz and took the Arabic word for successor, Khalifa. XXXTentacion said that his name means unknown temptation because X can stand for something that you don't know yet, and Tentacion is temptation in Latin, but I think he meant Spanish, not Latin. This is one of my favorite stories yet that makes total sense, but I never saw it in this way. The Yeah Yeah Yeahs named their band after living in New York for a while and hearing people say, yeah, 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 meaning like, yeah, right. And finally, to complete parts one and two of these videos, Billy Gibbons wanted to name his band after his two heroes, ZZ Hill and BB King, but ZZ King didn't sound quite right, so he thought, a king is the person at the top, so ZZ Top. Thank you for watching, and I plan on releasing some kind of favorite music of 2023 video in a couple of weeks, along with some news about the future of the channel, and I'll see you then. Hey, thank you for watching. If you want to support the channel, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. You can follow me on social media at RenshawHS. You can buy my merch, support me on Patreon or Twitch, and thank you again. I'll see you soon.